Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be delving into the core of the more combative aspects of the series by focusing on the art of the individual attack. And what I mean by that is a particular move or technique used as part of a character's combat repertoire. However, we have one extra limit for ourselves today, because what we are specifically looking for are the best comical attacks. These are techniques that are generally inserted into the story for gag purposes and not expected to have any kind of real impact on the story. They're a nice bit of flavor that I think are all too often forgotten amongst the sea of attacks in the series. Also, as per usual, the attacks need to be canon because I don't want to waste my life going through filler material. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five comical attacks in One Piece. Number five. Gomu Gomu no Baku Baku. To commence proceedings today, we have an attack by the one and only Monkey D. Luffy, whereby he stretches his mouth in an effort to fiercely chomp down on an enemy. Sounds pretty brutal, really. But the attack was only ever performed against Sir Crocodile, who is a Logia user, so it turned out to be pretty hilarious. Because not only is this a particularly stupid attack, even for Luffy, but the fact that it was used against such a serious figure really amped up the humor. In fact, Crocodile's frustrated reaction is probably the best part of the whole thing. And I guess I should also note that this attack was used once again in the film Dead End Adventure, against Gus Pade, to similarly humorous effect. Although you can certainly tell that this was meant to be a purely comical attack because when you think about it too deeply, it uh, probably should have caused some actual damage to Crocodile, as he, or parts of him, would have been rendered solid due to Luffy's saliva being a liquid. But hey, we're not here to nitpick stupid attacks, we are here to celebrate them. And this brilliant move for Luffy certainly warrants some recognition. Number four, Usopp Spell. As one of the weaker members of the Straw Hat Pirates, Usopp has to use, how shall we put this, more creative techniques to fight against opponents many, 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 many times stronger than him. One such endeavor into creativity is Usopp Spell. For this attack, Usopp very loudly describes hypothetical situations which are intended to induce a wince-like effect at the very thought of them, thus in theory being able to distract an opponent. One such example is Usopp yelling out the phrase, razor blades within your teeth, and it proved to be quite effective against well, Nami. The intended target of the spell was actually NL, who had nothing but a completely deadpan reaction. Not only that, but Usopp's spell actually ended up affecting Usopp himself, who seemed barely able to contain its awesome power. Number three, Usopp Wagomu. Literally meaning Usopp rubber band, this is a technique whereby Usopp threatens his opponent by stretching a rubber band and pointing it in their general direction. The benefit of this is two-pronged. Either Usopp can fire the rubber band at the enemy, which I imagine would be pretty ineffectual, or fearing the impact of the rubber band, the opponent can flinch, allowing Usopp the opportunity to run away. This attack can also be used quite powerfully, and by powerfully I mean pointlessly and comedically in combination with other Usopp techniques, which was demonstrated against Chu during the Arlong arc. I should also point out that in the English translation, this technique is called Usopp's Rubber Band of Doom, which does a fantastic job of amping up our expectations with the reality of this flimsy yet creative attack. And in any case, Usopp Wagamu is a brilliant little move performed to perfection by the long-nosed straw hat pirate and never fails to get a smirk out of me. Number two. Nipple lights. After the time skip, our resident pervert cyborg went a bit insane with adding extra quality of life functions to his own body, the greatest of which by far has to be nipple lights. Just as with Usopp Wagomu, nipple lights serve a dual purpose. One being to obviously illuminate a dark area by turning one's nipples into highly powerful torches. However, these gems of justice can also be used in combat to blind enemies, thus giving Frankie a significant strategic advantage. Or at least that's how I attempt to justify it. The truth of the matter is more likely that Frankie just uses them because he thinks they're cool. And to be fair, they are indeed cool. I mean, who amongst you could honestly say that you would not like your own very pair of nipple lights? None of you. That's who, because they are just that much fun. And as a result, they are a perfect candidate for the number two spot. However, there is still one comical attack out there that surpasses all others. Number one. Usopp Noise. Dipping back into the well of Usopp one last time, we emerge with the greatest comical attack to ever be introduced in the series, Usopp Noise. In this phenomenal maneuver, Usopp breaks his fingernails against a miniature chalkboard, resulting in a noise that incapacitates enemies en masse through the sheer pain of hearing it. 
I'm actually kind of flinching in pain here just thinking about it. This attack is actually so powerful that Usopp himself has to wear earplugs simply to engage in it. But he also needs to be careful because Usopp noise will affect allies and enemies indiscriminately in very much the same way that Usopp spell does. However, the difference here is that even though this is a hilarious attack, it's actually quite useful, proving to be even capable of dealing with Marines of the captain ranking as we saw during the events of any slobby. All in all, even though it causes me huge amounts of pain to think about, Usopp noise is still one of the all-time greatest comedic attacks in the series and a very worthy winner of the number one spot. And that pretty much does it for the top five comedic attacks in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way inclined to support this independent channel, then also feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your own favorite comedic attacks in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.